Well, Sunday afternoon, um, just over 5k and about 45 minutes in, uh, has come across the country and some of the little lanes from Kingsbridge over there, uphill and down Dale. And I'm going to go along there towards Lower Batson, which is at the bottom end of Solcombe, and then through the town, hopefully not getting tripped up by too many Range Rover Ruperts, and then out onto the coastal path, and then the usual way home. See you later. So just dropped down off the top ridge, coming down into Lower Batson, towards there, and then that's the Solcombe Estuary in the background. What a lovely little view here. Not bad start to a long run. See if I'm quite as chirpy later on. So just dropped down into Batson Creek. Half mud, half water as they say. There's a little uh, lime kiln there. And another one here. These are dotted all over the place around here. It's easier to bring the uh, raw materials in and do that at the water side and transport it all across the land. See you later. Right, just leaving Solcombe now. That's the sea in the bar out of Solcombe. And this is lovely East Portmouth behind me and the estuary going towards Kingsbridge eventually. Um, behind me, known locally as the dark side because in the winter all the lights are off because there's no one there because it's all holiday homes. Marvellous. Well, as you can see, sun's come out, which is gorgeous, but it makes it not so good for running. But here we are, North Sands, the old castle there. And uh, I've got to go up over this hill, drop down into South Sands, and then up out of South Sands onto Bolt Head. South Sands, so just come over that headland from North Sands there and just about there is the kind of main street at Solcombe where all the crowds were. A um, couple of weeks going to be coming along here for the Solcombe Coastal Marathon and the point right at the headland there is Prawl Point there's a Coast Guard station on that point. From that point round to here is one of the, in my opinion, one of the prettiest bits of run um, around here. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, let's crack on. Oh, up here is Overbeck's, which is the National Trust Gardens. It's very nice for a walk around, a cup of tea, but I won't be stopping there today. So just approaching Bolt Head. Uh, that's looking back towards Solcombe and the estuary over the bar to Prawl Point and these are the rocks at Bolt Head. Pretty nice. Remember the first time I came up these steps it was in winter. It was a bright sunny day like today but freezing cold and frosty. And you come up round this corner and there below you, well above you, are these lovely fantastic rocks and down there it's called stair hole bay and you can just stare into the hole here it's very nice the path goes up here down the valley and then follows that line diagonal up the hill to that headland there and then on this is an absolutely stunning bit of coast there's a lovely little waterfall inside one of these little bays, little clefts here with the water coming drops down. Beautiful. And it looks like some people co-steering on the rocks or at least scrabbling on the rocks down there. Lovely. Well this is the last bit of the headland by coming out of Stairhole Bay. Um up this little 
uh, narrow valley here. It's quite steep there where those people are. And that gets us on the top of the, the flat. And you can run along there over Bolbury Dam where the old airfield was in the Second World War. And then on to Bolt Tail, which is a few miles that way. Um, arguably, it's just a bit flat and boring on the top with no, once you're up there, with no, not many hills or anything, but still got to get up there yet. Well, the shadows are even stronger than they were earlier when I was in Sulcombe. And for those of you who know me, you know how much I love running in the sun, not. So, hmm, best crack on. So I'm probably about halfway along between Bolt Head that way and Bolt Tail, which is just that headland, headland that you can see here. Uh, if you turn around on the horizon there, you can just see a pepper pot, which is some kind of architectural wonder, apparently. Um, and if you just see over there, that's the inland route of the coastal path. Now, if you're doing the Sulcombe Coastal Marathon in a few weeks, there's several opportunities to uh, take the more conservative route, and that being one of them, and you, but you do cut off quite a chunk. A, of lovely scenery, but B, also of mileage. So it's pretty tenuous whether the Sulcombe Coastal Marathon is full distance anyway. It's not. Um, and that, that'll knock even more off. But if you go down here and then follow the coastal path, I don't know if you can see those people on that rock there. It just goes just beyond there. Hello there. And then along down into... Um, Sawmill Cove, which is lovely. And then up again, up that track there, and all the way along the top there, really, to the end, and then above Hope Cove. Anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. A lot warmer than I thought it was going to be today. Um, drinking plenty. I've uh, got a camel back with me, so hopefully we've we'll got rid of all of it. It's no point in taking it back with you. Anyway, best crack on. So I've just come Whoa, where am I? Yeah, come from up there, down into the valley, and then up here, and just nearly 10 miles in, and that's Ham Rocks behind me out to sea, and this way along there, Sawmill Cove in the bottom, and then up onto the top there, and then onto Bolt Tail. So let's have a look, what are we doing? That's where we are. Yeah, 15 and a half K, 223. Never gonna break any speed records around here, especially because I'm pretty slow at the moment, but also it's very heavy. I should actually stop dicking about taking all these videos and just enjoy, but it is so absolutely stunning along here today. I just wanted to stop and, and enjoy it really. So get the camera out and take a few shots. You can see it's quite a way down the, uh, well it's not really a beach down there. The waves are coming in and it is just stunning. Um, just come around this headland here behind me, just up down there. It's a lovely little steep path dropping down and uh, it's just a joy to run on. Um, that bit across there, going up there, is not a joy to run on because it's bloody steep. But there you go. So I took myself at my word and uh, haven't filmed for quite a bit now. Um, so I'm just on the top of Bulbury here. That's the Port Light Hotel being refurbed. And where I said I'd stop filming was on that headland, just there, that little rocky promontory. So I've come all this way, it's now 2 hours 48 into the run, 17 and 3 quarter K. It feels a lot longer for some reason. And uh, just on the top here, lovely gorse. The skylarks are singing. I don't know if that's coming out on the on the sound there. Some all kinds of birds, not a twitcher, no idea what they are. 
So I've just got a bit further, another quarter of a mile to go along this uh, gravel path which has been made uh, wheelchair accessible which is really good. And then we'll be above Hope Cove and we can drop down into Hope Cove and pick up a bit of speed along there. So bolt the tail in the distance there, Hope Cove and Burr Island, Bantham to the right. So I just come from up there and that's kind of the highest bit we're going to be doing now. That's kind of most of the really high work done now. So I've just come down this path here to this point here and on that skyline there through the gorse another 500 metres or so is the end of Bolt Tail. Uh, again, if you're doing the Salkham Coastal, you can come off down here and take this little route down here uh, into the top end of Hope Cove. It's a shortcut and you'll knock quite a bit off this route here that goes right to the headland. Um, so it depends if you just want to get to Tor Cross to Bantham and say you've run from Tor Cross to Bantham or you want to say you've done a marathon. It's up to you, but if you're taking all these shortcuts, you, there's no way you've have done a marathon. But that's between you and your conscience. So those of you who saw my uh, missive a few weeks ago will remember I was up here, this is the very same point, in a horrible horizontal sleet storm that was stinging my face, pinging off my rain hood and my jacket. It was awful. And now just a few weeks later, we have this, which is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, got Hope Cove there, and then on to Thilston Rock. Thurlston Sands and uh, this is the newly reconstructed bridge across the lay to the nature reserve there. These reed beds are all green in summer and there's out to sea. Since they've done this I'm sure it doesn't vibrate like it used to, it's not as much fun. Well, we're now just coming to four hours since I started out in Kingsbridge, uh, 25.4k. Now, admittedly, I have been dicking about and stopping and speaking to people and stopping to film, but there you go. This bench here overlooking back towards Thurlston Sands, South Milton Sands and Hope Cove. Hope Cove being kind of that one there. Uh, and just get there. Bolt Tail, where I did a where normally did a little circle on the top there. Seems a while ago since I was there. This bench here looks very inviting, but there's Burr Island in the distance, just there. And uh, gonna go over that rise where you can see the people in the gorse and drop down into Bantham and that's kind of the end of the Sulcombe Coastal Marathon route um, I've got another three and a bit miles to go to get home after that see you later. okay this is nearly it Burr Island there all the surfers out there Bantham Beach and Bantham <laughs>